If you are starting in year 12 this year, that means your year 11 was disrupted, means your year 10 was disrupted. So the last time you had a full year in school was year nine, which is crazy when you think about it. You're about to start your A-levels and the last time you were in school properly was year nine, which is gonna make things hard. I'm not gonna lie to you because I mean, I don't see the point in lying to you. It is going to put you at disadvantage to the year 12s that started a few years ago. Now, it's not a bad thing. I'm just going to explain why and then what we can do about this. So there are two big reasons why. First of all, is you've never sat real formal exams. Now, you probably did, like, you know, end of year exams and loads and loads and way too many assessments for getting your teacher assessed grades, but no actual real formal exams so the the pressure of doing that was never there for you which means when you come to see your AS levels or your A levels it is going to be a little bit of a shock because you haven't practiced it before and because you haven't had those real exams you haven't revised all of the content which means there are going to be some bits of content that you're a little bit skew with on Every single year when I get a new year 12 class, there is somebody in there who managed to skate through GCSEs not being able to balance equations. But the problem is, when we start at A level, we assume you can do the GCSE stuff. So straight up on the board, a rather complex equation will go up and the first part will be, you know, I don't even have to tell students to balance it and put the state symbols in because I assume they're going to do that. But if you are one of these students who, and it doesn't have to be chemistry, this can be any subject that you're taking at A-level. If you know, honestly, in your heart, there was a subject that you're going to come up at A-level that you're kind of like a bit iffy on at GCSE and you're not like 100% sure um, or how to do it and you kind of like just skip that question in the exam or the test and somehow got away with it because every single body has a subject like that okay don't freak out and think that you're not good enough everybody there is some subject like that this is your chance to catch up and fill in those gaps so that when we start um when we start sixth form next week or the week after whenever you're going back you don't have those gaps you still have time to do this and this is made worse because if you're going to like a new sixth form or a new college where lots of people are coming in from different schools they're going to have been taught different parts of the curriculum in that school so the first i'm going to guess probably the first half term of um, this new year is going to be spent catching up GCSE stuff and it's going to happen really really quickly so if we imagine the first five ten minutes of lesson your starter your instruction activity that will be something that we normally spend like a whole lesson like 45 minute an hour lesson teaching at GCSE things move very quickly now, if you're taking an A level on subjects, we would hope that you are capable in subjects and potentially one of the more able students from the GCSE class. So that moving quickly shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. Do not panic about this. It is a perfectly reasonable thing for you to ask your A level teacher to say, you know, can I have a printout of the PowerPoint or can you put the PowerPoint on the shared area on the VLE so that I can look at it, so that I can download it later, um, that I can make notes for it. Do not feel pressured in class to copy down absolutely everything on the board because it is expected that you are going to go away and do independent study. Roughly an hour's independent study for every hour of contact time. And that could be something as simple as going make notes from one of my videos or making notes from a textbook or finding some more examples to do but if you find that there are massive gaps in your knowledge that you are at a disadvantage because the person sitting next to you went to a different school and they did cover this subject at GCSE and this is one of the bits that you know was missing from your GCSE then it is up to you to go and catch that up. Now there are loads and loads of different ways that you can do this. The first thing I suggest you do is just go and ask your teacher for some resources. Say look I'm not great on 
balancing equations or whatever it happens to be, can you give me the GCSE worksheets for it? And who just know that you're in this position and they are going to turn around, they're going to say yes, they're going to help you, they're going to point some towards some resources to uh, help you do that. I obviously have loads of things to, to help you, get you started, to, to catch you up the bits that you miss. But please do not worry about this because all of your teachers are aware of what happened. Nobody could have missed it. They are aware that they're going to be teaching class who have come from lots of different places and it be in lots and lots of different circumstances and situations. If you are, I've got hair in my if you are going to be doing your sixth form with a teacher that you had for GCSE, you are one of the very lucky, really rare people. So guys, please don't worry too much. Your teachers um, are going to have prepared for this. They're going to have a support plan probably already in place to basically teach you the GCSE very, very quickly so that they can move on up to the A-level. Um, nobody got through this educationally unscathed, so... Um, yeah, I'm going to be here for you every single step of the way, guys. Ouch. Mm, that'd be cute, Quinn.